What's up, YouTube? It's Redline for the review of the Aqua Control Plus White. This mouse pad is coming in at around $35, depending on the size. Um, I have the extra large square, which is 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters. And it does have a kind of large logo that does mess with the glide, but in most sizes, you know, most decently sized sizes this isn't really an issue but um if you're planning on getting a small one of these that could be a potential problem this best bed is not affected by any environment so that is huge no temperature no humidity anything like that glide is consistent all the way through um which is huge it's on par in most aspects like the pad itself um, I'd say is on par with artisan quality. Stitch edging on some parts, like right here, it's kind of, I don't know if you, you can see it on camera. Let me turn off the light. But it is kind of, have like a large nub. So if for some unfortunate reason that ends up being on the bottom side of it, you are kind of screwed. It is also slightly raised. So that could make up and down movements like, slightly more difficult but I really haven't noticed an issue with that um the glide does seem to be consistent both x and y so that's huge and also like people think you want like a smooth pad when that's not really the case like this it almost like just touching it like this almost kind of feels like sandpaper like on your on your wrists that personally doesn't really bother me but if you're someone who is really sensitive to that, you might want to get a sleeve or just, like, wear a hoodie with it or something. I don't know. But, um, this, it seems to be super durable. I actually spilled water on it earlier, and it was, like, fine. So that's huge. And you could just throw it in the washing machine if it really gets dirty because, I mean, with a white mouse pad, if you're, like, a fairly dirty person and are eating at your desk, that could be an issue. It does. It is also available in black. Without the coating. But, oh yeah, this CAD does not have a coating. Like, infinite glide, which is huge. But it, only the white and the black one have it. The black one's already sold out everywhere. White one is still in stock in a couple places. So, yeah. But all the regular designs do have feature coating, which does wear off eventually. Um, here's a bit of a glide test. This is a G502. I'm an IG G Pro Wireless with regular stock mouse feet. It it has a really nice glide. How it it slows down. It doesn't just stop. Like on most cloth pads, it might just stop, and you don't want that. This one slows down. And uh, I do have a lizard skin on it. But um, yeah, this pad is great. It's very affordable. And, yeah, coming in at 40 bucks, this is all around amazing. Um, only complaint is really the stitch edging in some places kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah. Peace.